Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can install NetBeans for Java programming on Windows 11. So that's been said, let's get started. Now to download NetBeans, just open your browser and search for NetBeans. Let me tell you that before installing NetBeans on your system, you have to install and set up Java JDK. So I already made a video on how you can install Java JDK 17 on Windows 11. So you can watch this video. I'll put the link in the description box. After you had successfully set up Java JDK 17, now to download NetBeans, you can simply open netbeans.apache.org. Don't worry about the download link, I'll put the download link in the description box. So this is the official website from where you can download NetBeans. Let me tell you that NetBeans is an IDE and it is specially used for Java development. Now to download NetBeans, you can simply click on this download option. Here you can see Apache NetBeans 12.6 is the latest version. Here we have the download page from where we can download NetBeans. Here we have binary files and here we have installer files for all the operating system. Here we have installer files for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. So we are going to install NetBeans on Windows 11, so we are going to download this windows 11 installer file simply click on this link and here click on this http link to download here you can see it is downloading it is around 413 mb so it will take some time to download let me complete the download process and after that i'll show you how you can set up netbeans for java programming our download has been completed now simply open this installer file here you can see that here we have apache netbeans ide installer window here simply click on next and here just accept the license agreement then click on next and here we have the installation location where netbeans id is going to install and here we have our java jdk installation location i had already told you that before installing netbeans on windows 11 we have to install and set up java jdk if you're not getting this java jdk location here you can simply browse the location by clicking on this browse option so here I have my Java JDK installation location. Here I will simply click on next. And here we have an option to check for updates. Simply check this box then click on install. And here you can see that it is installing so it will take some time to install. So wait until the installation process completes. And here you can see that installation completed successfully. Here simply click on finish. And here you can see that here we have our NetBeans launch icon if you don't get this icon here you can simply search for netbeans on the search option so here we have our apache netbeans here simply click on open so this is the interface of netbeans ide simply maximize the window now let me show you how you can create your first java project using netbeans ide for that simply click on file then click on new project and here we have to choose our project category so i'm going to create a simple java project i'll simply select java with maven and on project option here i'll simply select java application then here click on next in order to use netbeans for java programming we have to add java se support now to add this java se support simply check this box and here click on download and activate here we have our NetBeans ID installer window. Here simply click on next. And here we have the plugin. Simply accept the license agreement for this Java SC support. Then click on install. And here you can see it is installing the Java SC support. Here you can see that our installation has been completed. Here simply click on finish. And here you can see that it is activating Java SC support on NetBeans IDE. Now here you have to name your project and you can select your project location. As I'm creating a simple Java project, so I'll keep everything to default, then click on finish. So here we have our project hierarchy, here we have our Maven project and here we have our source packages, dependencies, Java dependencies and project files. Now we have to add our Java class file. To add your Java class file, Simply click on source packages option and here simply select the package. Right click on it then click on new and here simply click on java class. And here you have to name your class. Let me name it as hello. And here simply click on finish. 
So here we have our hello.java file. Here let us write some Java code that will print hello world. For that here we have to add public static void main function. And here let us write system.out.println. Inside this parenthesis let me write hello world. So here I had written a simple java code that will print hello world. Now to run this java code, first of all we have to save the file. For that simply click on file, then click on save. Now we have to build this java project. For that simply click on this build option. And here you can see it is building the java project. Here you can see build successful. Now to run this code, simply click on this run option and here click on select main class. Here on our console, here we have hello world. So this way you can use NetBeans for Java programming. So that's it for this video. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See next video.